are right now. Can we get uh, one milligram of epinephrine? Yep. I'm Deputy Roll, this is my partner, Deputy Via Lobos. Uh, can we come in? We need to speak to you for a minute. Um, Mrs. Long, you have a son named Alex? Yes, I do. Yes. Um, earlier today, he was involved in a traffic accident over in front of Calabasas High School. Mm -hmm. The car he was riding in was hit by a drunk driver. Your son suffered massive injuries in the car accident, and he was worked on by the fire department, but um, he succumbed to his injuries. He passed away on the scene. Oh my God. What we'll need is we'll need to take you down to the uh, coroner's office so you can identify the body for us. Welcome to LA County Jail.
can't believe that I had another car. I don't know what I was thinking. I want to get out of here. I'm scared. Mom, please come. All right, Mrs. Marcus, step on out this way. today for two sentencing in the matter of people versus Lauren Marcus and then followed by the matter of the people versus Alex Veronis. We'll begin first with Miss Marcus's case. Uh, Miss Marcus is obviously going to bear the brunt of the uh, punishment to be meted out in this case but I believe that all of the parties involved from my reading of the pre-sentence report and the other information presented to the court demonstrate that there will be a lot of people who will not go a day without thinking about what happened here. I understand that there are uh, some uh, members of the audience who may wish to be heard as to the victim impact. Mr. and Mrs. Schatz, I'm very sorry for your loss, um, but you may tell me whatever you want me to consider as it relates to the sentencing of Ms. Marcus. I'm sorry he doesn't go to school in September to college. I'm sorry he doesn't go on family vacation. I'm sorry he doesn't go to every birthday, anniversary, and date that we have to live through. I'm sorry he just doesn't cut it. I'm so sorry to everybody. And I'm sorry to Lauren, too. There's no excuse for what happened, and there's no justification for what happened. It's just poor judgment. At this time, then, the court is prepared to um, sentence on this matter. I do believe that you're sorry. Ms. Marcus, but I also believe, as uh, some of the speakers said, that it doesn't bring anybody back. We may expect or often expect in our lives that we will lose our parents, but it's unexpected and particularly tragic when parents lose their children. When you lose your parents, you lose your past, but when you lose your children, you lose your future. I think a low-end sentence of four years in state prison is appropriate. Um, that is low, but that is obviously very harsh. Four years in state prison for a young person such as you. And the bailiff is directed to take Ms. Marcus into custody. But here uh, we have uh, distracted driving. Um, I understand, Mr. Veronis, that uh, although you were the driver, there were uh, other activities going on in the car, including tossing around a football and, and texting uh, going on. I suspect that it may not have been the first time you or your passengers were texting in the car. I know that these uh, phones and the textings are rarely out of uh, the hands of teenagers and adults. Who use them. Uh, when the law was passed recently that uh, said that you could not talk on the phone unless you had a hands-free device, the law later had to be amended to add the portion that talks about no texting. 
I think that happened because everyone felt that common sense would dictate that no one would be looking at any sort of screen or any sort of reading material, let alone trying to write something while they were driving, but obviously we were wrong. And it does seem to be uh, a big and growing problem, so it has been made into a crime. And in this case, because a person died, your friend Alex and uh, Shane, your other friend, has been paralyzed. Uh, it is a crime which could lead to state prison. The court will place you on three years of formal probation. You will be reporting to the probation officer and the court for a period of three years. You will be required to meet with the probation officer. I'm going to order 200 hours of community service. And I promise you this, um, Mr. Veronis, if you fail and do not comply with the terms of your probation, you will go to state prison at that, at that time. Uh, and depending on the nature of the failure, it could be up to six years in state prison. So that will be the sentence of the court. You will be free to go. You're ordered to report to the probation office within 48 hours of today's date, Mr. Veronis, and he will give you further instructions from that point. Thank you. Oh. All right, Lauren. What do we got here? Oh, 